The common ion effect is an effect such that when you put a ion that is one of the ionization products in a, a weak acid or weak base type problem in solution with the weak acid or weak base, the ionization is suppressed. Here's an example. Previously, I had found that the equilibrium concentration of a uh, of hydronium ion in a one molar hydrofluoric acid solution was 2.7 times 10 to the minus 2 molar. And the percent disassociation of that acid <clears throat> in that solution was 2.7 percent. Calculate the hydronium ion concentration and the percent disassociation of the hydrofluoric acid in a solution containing both one molar hydrofluoric acid and one molar of the salt sodium fluoride. Now one thing I want to point out before I start this problem is um, in this particular case the hydronium ion was abbreviated H plus. <clears throat> and anytime you have a proton in water it exists um, as the hydronium ion. And so either representation is okay. When I see the proton in water, I know it's the hydronium ion. So either way you represent it, and you'll see it both ways in textbooks <clears throat> and in problems. I just have a tendency to express it um, as the hydronium ion. All right, I had a solution where we just had the um, hydrofluoric acid in solution. And since it's a weak acid, it ionizes to a very limited extent to give some hydronium ion and some fluoride anion. But most of the molecule stays intact as hydrogen, uh, hydrofluoric acid. And in this case, when you just have the hydrofluoric acid at a one molar concentration, um, it was found that the hydronium ion concentration was 2.7 times to the minus 2, and the percent disassociation was 2.7%. Now, I can go ahead with this uh, value and calculate the pH um, of the hydronium ion uh, in that particular solution because pH equals negative log the hydronium ion concentration. And in this case, it's 2.7 times 10 to the minus 2. And when I calculate that, the pH in this case is 1.6. That's a pretty acidic solution. Now, I'm going to take uh, that, uh, this solution and do something slightly differently. In this case, in solution, I have both a one molar concentration of hydrofluoric acid and a one molar concentration of uh, sodium fluoride. Now, sodium fluoride is a soluble salt. So say this is the fluoride anion, this is the sodium ion. Of course, it's going to disassociate 100% in solution. The hydrogen fluoride, because it's a weak acid, <clears throat> is going to exist largely as its molecule, but it is also going to disassociate to a, a slight extent to give more of the fluoride anion plus some hydronium ion. Okay, so these are all of the things that are going to exist in this solution. The question is now, in the presence of the sodium fluoride, uh, what is the uh, hydronium ion concentration and the percent disassociation in this new situation? Okay, so to figure it out, what you do is you recognize that the hydrofluoric acid is your um, equilibrium situation. That's what's going to be um, affected and that's what's going to be um, coming to equilibrium in your water. So the hydrofluoric acid plus the water is going to disassociate to a limited extent to give the fluoride anion plus the hydronium ion. Okay, And so what we'd like from this equilibrium is to calculate the concentration of the hydronium ion and the percent disassociation of the hydrofluoric acid. So you can set up your uh, rice uh, diagram. The initial concentration here is one molar. So if you assume that you have um, a liter of solution for this equation, it can be exist as one molar, one molar. Um, and don't worry about the water. And then you're starting off with also some uh, one molar sodium fluoride. That fluoride is coming from the disassociation of the sodium. So you're starting with a one molar of the hydrofluoric acid and one molar of the anion fluoride ion. And let's just assume no uh, hydronium ion to start with because it's going to be in pure water so low compared to this one molar. The change is because it's a one to one molar ratio and it is an acid so we're going to assume that's going to disassociate to a limited extent to um, uh, produce a little bit of uh, fluoride ion and a little bit of hydronium ion. So at equilibrium it's going to be one minus x 1 plus x and x for our concentrations. So you go ahead and set up your equilibrium expression. So Ka is going to equal the concentration of the fluoride 
anion at equilibrium times the concentration of the hydronium ion at equilibrium divided by the concentration of the hyd hydrogen fluoride at equilibrium. Now, the um, Ka for this particular weak acid, if you look it up in a table, it's 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4. I look that up. And so now I just need to solve for x. And this is a little bit complicated because i got the plus x and the minus x and whatnot. But what you can recognize is that um, the percent disassociation in this case uh, was just 2.7 percent. It's very limited uh, disassociation in the case when the counter ion isn't present. And this common ion is, um, is going to suppress the equilibrium. So I know that the, I can very easily ignore this x. Uh, when I add it to one molar, this value is going to be teeny tiny, and when I subtract it from one molar. So in this case now, uh, I end up with um, 1 times x divided by 1 for my concentration, and so x simply equals um, the value of the Ka, which is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4. x then is my um, concentration of hydronium ion at equilibrium which equals 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4. It's also the amount of um, disassociation that occurred. So the pH then in this case is um, the negative log of 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4, which equals uh, 3.14. So you see that the pH has come up in the presence of the um, fluoride anion in the presence of the weak acid. So it has suppressed the ionization. And I can calculate the percent ionization of this particular um, uh, ionized acid. The percent ionization is going to equal the amount that was ionized, which is the x, because it was uh, the original amount minus x. x in this case is 7.2 times 10 to the minus 4, divided by the initial amount of um, concentration, which is 1 molar. And so the percent ionization times 100 percent in this case equals 0 0.072 percent. So you can see clearly that the, um, the um, <clears throat> ionization of the acid is suppressed in the presence of a common ion. The